Please welcome Patrick Schenk. He's from Gastrointestinal Sciences and his supervisor is Dr. Paul Beck. Patrick's 3MT talk title is The Role of Bacteria in the Protection Against Infections. Thanks. What's the crappiest idea you've ever heard of? I'd have to say mine's my thesis, but in my case it's not the regular crap you would think of. Today I'm going to tell you about how poop is going to be the driving force in medicine development. But first, let's back up. Why poop? What's in it that makes it so fantastic? Well, apart from the waste produced by our body, there's actually hundreds of thousands of different bacteria that normally live inside of us. Most people are pretty alarmed when I tell them that we're actually more bacteria than we are human, as we contain 10 to 1 of the number of bacterial cells to human cells inside of us. Now, in my project, I look at a bacteria called Clostridium difficile, or C. diff. It's a very serious but common hospital-acquired infection. It also spreads very easily, as can be seen in the handprint from this patient. Now, normally, the bacteria that live inside us protect, protect us against C. diff. However, we become much more vulnerable if we've recently taken antibiotics. Now, sometimes these antibiotics can also be used to treat C. diff, but about one in four patients get recurrent infections, not responding to medication. But don't worry, there's a new treatment coming out for C. diff. It's called fecal microbiota transplantation. That's right, a poop transplant. And it's actually pretty simple. You take feces and put them in a blender, resuspend them in liquid, and you can either give it nasal gastrically, a tube through your nose, or via colonoscopy, a tube up your bum. Now, there's a few hoops to kind of get through before people actually receive this treatment. I think uh, most of us here wouldn't want to receive a fecal transplant, as well as some doctors are very hesitant to give it as a treatment because they don't know exactly how it works or what we could be transferring within the feces. That's where my project comes in. I'm looking at some of the protective factors within feces against C. diff. I profiled mice using precise microbial fingerprinting, and I've determined that mice from different families or colonies have different bacteria that live inside them. Interestingly, when I give them C. diff, mice from one family get very sick, but mice from a different family don't get sick whatsoever. I've also transferred feces between these mice and determined that completely changes the response to the infection. I figure by looking through the feces and taking out individual components, I can pick out the protective components, while also finding stuff that makes you more sick when exposed to C. diff. So within my thesis, I hope to take poop out of the equation, as well as stinky breath. Thank you very much.